Hello sailors, it's that time of year again. The servers featured in this video are only ones I've reviewed this year. Right, let's go. So, let's dive right in with award number one, the most pointless server award. This goes to Valkyrie Well. Although it's not a bad server, the staff are just letting it waste away. I predicted this would happen in my review, and now it's been left behind and sits with Phoenix as vanilla servers that have been made totally obsolete by Kronos and Nostrils. Time now for a good one, and the best unique feature award goes to Primal Well for its unique progressive server. This is an idea I've wanted to see play out for quite a while, and I'm really happy that someone's doing it. Now we have the Biggest Disappointment Award, and I'm also giving this one to Primal Well. Guys, stop messing around with mob HP levels and custom tweaks of the game. Face the fact that using a Wrath of the Lich King client is going to result in an easy vanilla experience. Stop ruining the game because easy vanilla is better than custom vanilla. Worried it would take less people to down and raid boss than normal? I wouldn't let that keep you up at night because for that to happen, you'll need a bigger player base. <laughs> Moving on, the most impressive coding award goes to Gamer District for the sheer amount of well crafting scripted that they have on display. I still think this is an underrated server, but I believe that if they made a forced at one times rate realm, it would be super popular with the right marketing. Come on guys, make it happen. The Worst Bug Found Award goes to Ashran's Warlord's Adrenal Server. The entire server is a complete mess, but the bug that will have you yelling at the screen more than any other is the Magical Mystery Tour Flying Bug. If the game gives you a DC, you'll be forced to fly to fuck knows where when you log back in, and you'll have to go there via the fucking moon because the server has no idea what the hell it's doing. This year, the choice for Best Website Award is a controversial one, but Gamer District takes it this year with the most confusing and backward sign-up process and website in the history of private servers. It wins because this is actually intentional. The staff at Gamer District actually call it the Anti-Noob Shield, because if you can't figure out the bizarre sign-in process, then you are not worthy of playing on Gamer District. The bottom of the class 2015 runner-up award goes to the second worst server I reviewed this year. The problem is this year has been very strong for quality private servers and Warmain's Cataclysm server was reviewed in a very unlucky period in its life. It was not long after the meltdown and as we all know a lot of the staff's effort went into making the Lordaeron server which seems to be doing quite well. But I have to tell the truth, and most of Warmain's Cata server wasn't good. There was a lot of problems, and even though the end game was decent, everything before that was pretty bad. On the other hand, Top of the Class 2015 Runner Up Award was a very hard server to choose. In the end, I'm giving Hellground the second place spot, even though it was the server I had the most fun playing this year. Either way, Hellground is a brilliant server which offers the best Burning Crusade experience right now. I really enjoyed this one and if you're looking for a great TBC server then I recommend then you get on this right away. Well this is an easy one, bottom of the class 2015 award without a shadow of a doubt goes to Ashran with what can only be described as a total car crash of a server. Every single part of this was just terrible, from the ridiculous pathfinding all the way to the hyperinflated economy. There is nothing good whatsoever to say about Ashran, it was just a total mess. The next award is the Public Vote Award. I ask you all to vote on your favourite server regardless of if I'd reviewed it or not. 
I counted up the hundreds of votes I received and it was quite tight. Wow Freaks came in a close second, but it was Atlantis that got the most votes from you guys, so well done to them. They deserve it because their server is bloody brilliant. And the final award, the big one, top of the class 2015 goes to... Nostarius. You might be thinking, why would I give Nostrils the number one spot, even though I personally preferred Hellground? Well, Nostarius is just legendary. Despite a few launch hiccups which I covered in my review, since then they've covered every single base perfectly. They have a well-made product, an insane player base size, plus they cover both PvP and PvE realms very well, which should just please everyone. They have marketed this server faultlessly and fought off a valiant effort from Kronos. Two years ago it was inconceivable that Phoenix could be knocked off the number one vanilla spot, but Nostrils did it with ease and completely decimated them. All this was done without any pay to win nonsense and actually going beyond what vanilla retail was capable of in terms of online players at any one time. Nostalgius is a landmark achievement that has Warcraft fans from outside the private server community talking about it. It gained attention from Blizzard themselves who in turn made Twitch police private Warcraft streamers very heavily. So yes, despite my own personal preferences towards private servers, I fully recognise and respect the impact that Nostalgius has had and that is what makes it number one this year.